Megalodon was at the top of the food chain. It preyed on large marine animals, including whales, large fish, and other marine mammals. Bite marks on fossilized bones suggest that it targeted the most nutritious parts of its prey, such as the flippers and rib cage, to maximize energy intake. Megalodon had one of the most powerful bites of any known animal. Its bite force is estimated to have been between 108,500 to 182,200 newtons, allowing it to crush bones and shells with ease. It is believed that Megalodon employed ambush tactics to hunt its prey. It likely used its massive size and strength to deliver fatal bites to its prey before they had a chance to escape. Fossilized teeth from juvenile megalodons had been found in these coastal areas, supporting the idea that these zones were crucial for the growth and development of young sharks. Megalodon had a worldwide distribution, living in both warm and temperate seas. This suggests it was capable of long-distance migrations, possibly following the movements of its prey or seasonal changes in ocean temperature. Megalodon is believed to have had a rapid growth rate, reaching lengths of up to 60 feet or more. It is estimated that it took about 25 years for a megalodon to reach full size. Some estimates suggest that megalodon could live up to 40 years or more, which is relatively long for a shark. The cooling of ocean temperatures during the Pliocene epoch may have played a significant role in megalodon's extinction. As the oceans cooled, the habitats of its prey species likely shifted, reducing food availability. Megalodon teeth are highly distinctive, with a triangular shape, serrated edges, and a robust structure. These adaptations made them highly effective for slicing through flesh and bone. The jaws of Megalodon were enormous, capable of opening wide enough to swallow a small car. This large gape allowed it to take massive bites out of its prey. There is a hypothesis that Megalodon might have engaged in cooperative hunting strategies. In such a scenario, multiple Megalodons could have worked together to hurt and capture large prey, such as whales, which would have been difficult to tackle alone.